now the Lakers starting group. Kobe and Matt of the wings with the big pow Gasol at the four. Nash out there with Howard. And for the Heat, Mario Chalmers in the electric D Wade at the guards. Chris Bosch is out there with Shane Battier, and it's LeBron in at the three spot. Gasol a screen on Chalmers. Nash up on top, defended by Chalmers. Shot clock at five. That's good. Howard's got the opening basket of the game for the Lakers. And that's a nice way for his team to get started. Yeah, really nice start for his team to get out in front here. Wade kicks to LeBron. That's good. And that's his game right there. The determination to get to the bucket. you got to love the mindset. On defense, the Heat, defeated by the Wizards in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Well, their shots just were not dropping for them in that game. A cold shooting night, that's all you can say. Well, the shot selection was a big part of it, Steve. I mean, they were taking terrible shots. It's not at all what you like to see from a team that should certainly be able to execute better. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Eric Spolster. And what'd you find out, Doris? It's been one win for each side through their first two meetings of the year. But coach thinks he found the difference between the results. I asked him how he would get the upper hand against the Lakers, and he said he was really going to try and collapse down and make them beat them by shooting over the top. A risky move against a team with Nash and Kobe on the roster. And thank you, Doris. And there's no question Chris Bosh is the linchpin of the Miami front court. And on a team with limited depth up front, he has a really important role to fill, and he's got to be there every night for Miami. And his skills go well beyond just his scoring ability. They really can run their entire offense through. Kobe gets a screen from Howard. Kobe goes in. Gasol. He passes to Howard. Nash outside. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Beyond the arc. And that is good. Nash has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And you know, Steve, you talk about Bosch needing to play such a huge role for the Heat in their front court. I think his versatility helps. He's 6'11". He can go inside and out. He's a better defender on the ball and off than he's given credit for. I really think he's a special player, just a tier or two below the elite level All-Stars in the NBA. Well, I think this is the spot they want to come out and put some points up early. Three or four so far. Kobe kicks to Gasol. World peace. Outside Gasol. Backing down is Bryant. Over Wade. Kobe, that's good. I'm just so impressed with his focus, Kevin, because even with a defender flying at him, he still finds a way to hit those shots on the perimeter. And on top of that, Steve, he usually saves his best for last. So many times we've seen him raise his level of play in the fourth quarter exactly when the game's on the line. They're coming out strong, guys. That's four for five from the field. Gasol kicks to world peace. Pass to Howard. Now the dish to Gasol. Over LeBron. Shot no good. Now the Heat take it the other way. The Lakers beat them last time when these two teams met in Los Angeles. Well, the big thing is they've got to avoid tonight what happened in the previous matchup. A lot of their starters were on the bench with foul trouble in that game. Now here's LeBron averaging 26 points a game. And there's another one for the Heat. He is so good at working himself into the open spots on the floor inside that three-point line. Just to focus on what Steve was talking about for another moment, their foul trouble, Clark, probably had more to do with that loss than anything. Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin. I mean, I thought they lost their heads a bit. They just basically lost control. Things started to get physical. They didn't really show any discipline. They started committing unnecessary and foolish fouls. It was just a real collapse in terms of mental fortitude there. Got to keep your composure. Always. Now, here's Wade. After the miss from Paul Gasol. Down low, deflects the pass, and stolen by LeBron. The leader, Chalmers, defended by Nash. Battier, a three-pointer off the mark. Last game for the Lakers, it was a loss to the San Antonio Spurs. 
Yeah, their offense struggled for almost that entire game. You know, whenever they did start to put together something during a decent stretch, it just seemed to end just as quickly as it began. Yeah, but even so, there weren't many of those decent stretches. I mean, talk about being in a rut. Here's LeBron following the basket by Kobe Bryant. Good. That's now eight points for LeBron. Coming up big now. He's made every shot he's taken this quarter. Upside Gasol. Back to Kobe. He dishes it to Howard. Pass to Nash. Back to Howard. Now the feed to World Peace. Run past the arc. Miami grabs the miss. And again, if the shot selection there, defender draped all over. Well, you got to understand who's guarding you in that situation. I mean, if he's on you tight, you can't just rise up and try to shoot over the top. And Kobe with the bucket. And again, the lead changes hands. Yep, back and forth we go, Steve. I mean, back and forth, back and forth. Neither side caving in. Now here's LeBron. He's got eight. Patty eight, a pass to LeBron. Shot's good. LeBron's now got ten. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, but neither team really able to jump ahead. Yeah, five times already the lead has changed. The Lakers trail. Don't let him shoot! Kobe with it. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against San Antonio. Gasol dishes to Kobe. And there's another one for the Lakers. Carving them up inside there, Kevin. I mean, the defense has been vulnerable in there. Yeah, that's three straight field goals in the paint area. That's really good offense. The drive by LeBron. And he's knocked off course by the D. The foul called. He'll shoot free throws. Well, I think as time has gone on, the heat heat has died down a little bit. You know, with uh, LeBron and Bosch first signing there, they were really thrust into that villain role, booed in every arena on the road. But I think things have calmed down a little bit. And while they'll never be accepted as an underdog, uh, people do appreciate them as a great team. Udonis Haslam, he's checked in for Chris Bosch. And the Lakers also making a switch. Jamison's checked in. And for LeBron, I think the backlash was the hardest in Ohio native when he left the Cavaliers. Uh, Clark, obviously, it was not great. No, it was not. And he admits that it's unfortunate and it unfolded the way he did. But I think going forward and as time passes, people will let it go as they should. And LeBron has become, I think, a better man as a result of having gone through that. And a better player, too. Now here's LeBron. 12 points for him. Out to Battier. Stolen by World Peace. And now Kobe running the floor all by himself. Moves back up. Nice shot by Jamison. And the Lakers lead by one. Guys, what a wild first half this has been. I'd say, I mean, oh. eight lead changes. That speaks for itself. Mm, yeah, back and forth start for sure. This game is setting up to be awfully competitive. And LeBron throws it down. Both sides really coming out of the gate firing here. Guys, they look like they were raring to go in this one. A lot of offense early on. The Lakers have gone 8 of 15 from the field, shooting above 50% here tonight. Now Kobe, 8 points for him. Jamison with a screen for Kobe. He kicks to Jamison. A second chance effort, and Kobe lays it in. Kobe's got 10. Well, that's been nice, efficient work, guys, that he's been doing. I mean, we haven't seen him take many bad shots, and that's the sign of a mature, poised player. Same, same, same. Now, here's Wade. Right now averaging 17 points a game. LeBron outside. Vicious to Aslan. Beyond the clock. This one for three. Wade misses. The Lakers in the lead. 